Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing an empties video for you guys. So I've seen a couple of comments with you guys asking me to do empties of products that I've used up and whether or not I would repurchase certain things just so you can kind of get a feel of things that I actually truly like. So I have some empties for the past couple of, probably just like one month, maybe a month and a half. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. All right, so I have all of my empties in this gorgeous gold bag. Oh, I hope I don't mess up my lighting. I did, dang it. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that again. But I have all my empties here and I'm just going to reach in and pull out something that you guys all know if you've been following me for a while. So I do have some empties in here that are reoccurring, like empties that I always use because I absolutely love the product. So I talked about this um, multiple times, so I'm not gonna ramble on too much about it, but this is the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Pore Perfecting Toner, and it's 100% all natural, and it's a, an exclusive plant to bottle formula. I don't know what that means. That honestly might just be gibberish to make you feel like it's more natural than it is. But I love this. Like, I can't even complain about it at all. I've been using this for the past... Dang. I've been using this since 2014. It's 2018. So this toner is just my favorite. It's very natural. It's very gentle. It doesn't cause any, like, stinging or irritation. And it really, like, cleanses my pores and gets rid of any extra stuff left on my face. So I love this and I've already repurchased. Now this next empty isn't actually empty but I'm going to be returning it so it's kind of like trash in a way. If I wasn't returning it I would just throw it away but it's the Smith's Rosebud Salve Balm and this is a um this is a lip balm that I got from Sephora and I actually hauled it in a vlog a while back and I mentioned in that vlog that the first ingredient was petrolatum and I didn't realize when I purchased it so I gave it a try to see if I would like it and I hate this this is like not good it's pretty much just like Ugh, it's pretty much just like perfumed Vaseline. Like I don't know, I hate Vaseline. So maybe that's why I don't like it. I know some people do like it, but I've heard so many rave reviews about this. I bought this after hearing somebody rave about it and how it was like perfect for the winter, but this doesn't do anything for my lips. And it actually like kind of like gets into my mouth and creates this weird like film. I don't know if that's like TMI or not. I don't think it is, but it's just nasty. <laughs> I do not like this and I'm returning it to Sephora right after I film this video. Oh Jesus, all these like old, I'll just quickly talk about this. So this is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. Like I said, I've been using this for like, I don't know, seven to eight years. I've talked about it numerous times and I go through them, like it probably takes a while to go through one of these. I probably purchased like two maybe three a year and it's only like twelve dollars and somebody actually just left a comment on my last skincare video saying that you can get a coupon for two dollars off any CeraVe products on their website so the next time I repurchase because I already did repurchase this the next time I repurchase I'm gonna use that coupon because this I mean twelve dollars isn't bad but ten dollars is better so next I have an empty am I calling these favorites have I been calling them favorites the whole time my bad if I have <laughs> but they pretty much have been favorites but the next product that I have is my hair vitamin and it's the main choice main metabolism plus I actually don't go through these very often I'm supposed to go through them once a month if I take them every day but I rarely do I'll probably take one to two every week but I'm trying to get better about that but I really really love these vitamins I don't think I've talked about them too much on my channel but they have really really great ingredients and this is the only vitamin that I find doesn't break me out so I've only tried pure biotin as a vitamin and that really helped with my hair growth like I could literally feel my hair getting longer like every two to three days but it broke me out something serious so I completely stopped taking hair vitamins when I had that bad experience with biotin and then very cautiously like after researching for months I finally decided to give the main choice a try um, I want to say it was around 2014 as well and I love them so they work super well I notice whenever I'm taking them that my nails are stronger and I feel like my hair is also stronger but at the same time I haven't really been taking these consistently enough to see that big of a difference in my hair like it's probably taking me about three to four months to go through this one bottle <laughs> 
And I do have three more bottles left in my stash and I'm gonna try to take those consistently for the months of February, March, and April. And then I'll have to repurchase, which is crazy because I stocked up on these on a Black Friday sale a year or two ago. So I haven't had to rebuy these in like years. So it's gonna be so weird to buy them again. Oh my gosh, seriously, can, is there something different in here? No, I use the same products. Okay, this is a good one. <laughs> So the next product that I have here is the Onion Handmade Juices and Berries Leave-In Herbal Tonic. And basically what this is, it's a spray leave-in that I absolutely, absolutely love. Honestly, I need to rebuy this because I can't live without it and my husband can't live without it. So Vernon likes to use this whenever he does his hair. He does, I'm an L co girl i'm a leave-in cream oil girl and he's a lock person so he's leave-in oil cream so he'll always use the juices and berries and then an oil and then lock it in with another oil and handmade cream and for me this just gives my hair so much moisture especially when it's like day five day six hair and i need to wash but i don't really have the time yet i can just douse my hair with this and put in the hairdo and my hair feels so soft it feels so luscious and this is just amazing and it's not like it's not a leave-in that has a lot of slip it really is kind of like a water but it really it has like the consistency of water but to me it's kind of like a tea in a way it's like they made a tea and then put it in a bottle with a spritzer because you don't get like slip from it but it does nourish and moisturize your hair so I really really love the juices and berries by Oyen and I need to repurchase so here's something that's new I have the Shea Moisture 100% coconut oil daily hydration body wash and I received this in a PR package a few months ago and as you can see I use the whole thing it's all gone and I did enjoy this so I really like this because it has a really nice clean scent yeah I like the smell of this it smells it smells oh, it smells so good it smells like soap but like coconut oil at the same time so it's like soapy coconut oil and the only thing that I didn't like about this is that I kind of felt like it was a little bit drying so like whenever I would use this I would have to make sure I put lotion on because my skin felt a little dry not a lot just a little bit but um I don't think I'll repurchase it because of that reason I don't like things that dry me out but the smell of this was really good and it soaked up really nicely as well and then this conditioner cannot be contained, this cannot be beat, this is the best deep conditioner, or excuse me, this is the best detangling conditioner ever. And that's the Onion Handmade Honey Hemp Detangling and Moisturizing Hair Conditioner. And this is the leader. I always get the leader because I have to purchase this online. I really, really wish this was available in stores because I always find myself when I run out of this, like it takes me a while to order again because one, it's like, $33 and two I don't want to pay for shipping like I just want my products so I actually haven't reordered this I've been using a lot of other conditioners in my stash to get rid of those before I bring in a new bottle but I can say I have some really really good conditioners in my stash but none of them are better than this they're still good this is just the best in my opinion I absolutely love this conditioner what is this oh and this is another Shea Moisture product. So this is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wipes with tea tree oil and also calendula in them. That's really cool. So calendula is an ingredient that's really good for like soothing dry itchy skin or dry itchy scalp. And I really like these when I was using them. So the way that I would use them is to remove makeup like after I would film a video. If I didn't feel like washing my face right away I would just take the makeup wipes and and take off what makeup I had on my face and then I just go about my business until I was ready to like shower and go to bed so I really like these for removing makeup I also like these for like if you're out and about and you kind of get a little sweaty and you need to freshen up down there not down there <laughs> but you know down there I really like these for kind of like helping me feel a little bit more fresher because it has clarifying properties I felt like it also kind of cleansed down there and also helped with removing any scent or anything so I really enjoyed these I don't know if I would repurchase them just because I don't really use face wipes I kind of just use them because they were sent to me but I did like them when I had them so I could possibly repurchase I feel like there's one in here I'm gonna be so mad if there is There's one left over. <laughs> How did I not know that? 
Okay, so I still have one more left, so I'm going to use this, and then it'll be an empty. All right, what else do we have? What else do we have? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Ah, uh, I love this candle so much. So this is from Fine Butters and Scrubs, and this is a black woman on... Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> And this is a black woman owned company that I actually met the founder of back in November at the Fearless Conference that I also vlogged for you guys. And so I ordered or I purchased this candle from her just because the name was interesting. Oh my gosh. And I really didn't know what to expect. So this smells like gingerbread, cinnamon, spice and like just Christmas essence this smells so good and not even Christmas it just has like a holiday essence so I purchased this about a week before Thanksgiving and it was perfect for the holidays I burned it during Thanksgiving when my family came down and they loved it I burned it throughout the month of December and I was honestly really sad when this ran out so I may take the remaining wax and kind of like crack it out by putting this in the freezer and using it in a wax melt because the candle wick has burned down but this has so much like surface area when you burn it this little candle completely made my entire apartment smell good like this one candle with this one wick so I'm very very impressed with fine butters and scrubs and I believe this is all natural it's a soy candle so it doesn't have any toxins or carcinogens that can be found in other candles that aren't soy so check them out if you're looking for very unique scents but then also candles that actually like radiate out from the source so my next two empties are some skincare empties and this is my all-time favorite drugstore mask the clear pore cleanser slash mask this is super good for just drying up any acne that you have and also with like reducing any redness I need to do this tonight I've already repurchased and then I also have my St. Ives blackhead clearing green tea scrub this is also a favorite of mine that's really good at removing blackheads and also getting rid of any texture that's on your face and this I just recently ran out of this week so I need to repurchase and both of those are great for like affordable skincare I use those exclusively for the past like two to three years and I've been fine I just now recently started introducing more expensive skincare into my regimen and I still use my cheapy skincare products along with my expensive skincare products and speaking of more expensive, I have my Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer and I've had this for a long time and as you can see I cleaned that out. I loved this moisturizer and I still do. It smells like oranges. It smells really good and I believe it has vitamin C in it to help you with like dark marks and brightening up your skin. It doesn't say it on the bottle here but I think if you go online and research it it'll say that it has vitamin C in it. So I use this more so in the summer and the fall and it was a great great moisturizer because it's kind of like a gel cream. Now I have combination skin so I get really oily in my t-zone and I get kind of dry like around my mouth and on my cheeks. So this was good because it wasn't too heavy that it made me greasy but it also wasn't too light so I still got a lot of moisture out of it and I had it repurchased only because I've been using this for so long I think this is maybe like the second or third one of these that I've gone through I just wanted to try something new especially because it's colder outside I wanted something that was a tad bit heavier and a little bit more emollient just so I could have some more moisture in the winter because I noticed that this wasn't really doing the job for me now that it's getting cold outside so I haven't repurchased this but one of you guys did comment and let me know that they have a thicker version of this specifically made for the colder months for people who like this so I may check that out right now I've been using a face oil solely like I haven't been using any moisturizer I just use a face oil to moisturize and that's been working out pretty good so I may stick with that or I may introduce another moisturizer into my routine as well and I'm just gonna take a break really quick to talk about my hair so I've been trying to protect the style a lot more if you guys follow me on Instagram you know I've been rocking my two cornrows pretty much for the majority of the past two to three weeks and so what I'll do is I'll rock my cornrows for like three to five days and then I'll unbraid it and let my hair just be out and crinkly so I unbraided my hair today to like film and it was so defined which was great but it was so flat 
it was just real flat into my head so I was like no let me put this up in a bun so my hair is in a bun right now because my hair was too flat so hopefully tomorrow when I take it out it's a little bit more voluminous but I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of this bun because the definition is there so if you can see the definition is there the curl definition is popping my hair is super shiny and super moisturized because I've been keeping it braided up and I've been loving it. Protective styling is saving my life right now. But okay, so back to the haul. The next empty that I have here is a Natural Club Deep Conditioner and this is the Dry Hair Solution Deep Conditioner. Now if you guys don't know, Natural Club is a black woman owned company y'all know how I do that's owned by a fellow youtuber I'm not sure if she makes videos anymore but she used to make YouTube videos and she basically used like natural organic products to grow out her hair and then she turned that into a company so this deep conditioner is a completely natural product like so natural that they send it to you refrigerated in a box and you have to either freeze it or put it in the refrigerator and use it within one week while it's being refrigerated so this has been in my freezer for the past like two to three months until I was ready to use it and I used it this past week and I really liked it I prefer the damaged hair solution to the dry hair one just because I feel like the damaged hair solution has a little bit more slip it just sits a little bit better on my hair compared to the dry hair solution but they're both really good because the foundation of them is avocado and avocado agrees very well with my hair it makes my hair feel super moisturized and protected and strong and it also makes my hair really really shiny so I think that also helped out with how shiny my hair is this week because I did just recently use this. But if you guys are interested in trying out the Natural Club Deep Conditioner, I have a link under almost all of my videos. My code, I believe, is Natural Kenya. I'll have it linked down below and it gets you 10% off. And I'll also link my video down below from years and years ago, <laughs> from 2016 when I tried the Damaged Hair Solution and did a review on it. All right, what we got, what we got. Let's do, I have one, I have a few skincare, so let's get this body one out the way. So this next empty that's not really empty is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash with Oats, Aloe, and Vitamin E. And this body wash is meant to calm and clear. So I used this um, briefly about two months ago and although it works really well, like it foams up really well, the same way as the other one, it foams up really well. It makes my skin feel like hydrated and healthy. It doesn't dry my skin out like the coconut oil one does the only thing is the color of this stains anything that you use with it so I've used it with like white washcloths and those are permanently like brown which is not a good look and I've used it with colored washcloths and it still stains them so I didn't finish this like I probably used this a good number of times and you can barely tell that I used it I used it like eight to ten times and I just had to stop because it was just getting so browned all of my like bath linens and I was like yo I paid a lot of money for that so mm. so I won't be finishing this and I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw it away but it works really well so if you use this on a loofah it might be better because I don't think it will be able to stain a loofah alrighty so the next three empties that I have are all skincare so I'm gonna start with this first one which is the Bell Bar Radiance Custom Mask now I have talked about Bell Bar a few times here on my channel and basically Bell Bar is another black woman owned company and this company is actually a mother daughter team. So it's a mother and two of her daughters who had this idea of making DIY products easy. So what you do is you go on their website and you actually get to choose the products or you get to choose the ingredients in the product that you're getting. So within this Radiance face mask I chose Pearl, Papaya, rice bran oil, yucca, and buttermilk. And I chose all those ingredients based on the descriptions that they have online. So they make it super easy. Like if you're battling certain issues, you can just click the drop down and you'll see what ingredients fit those issues. And so I wanted to get this mask to help with brightening my skin and then also evening out my skin tone and getting rid of dark marks. So I used this and I probably got about four uses out of it. And I don't know if this is my favorite Bell Bar mask. Now I have some that are really, really good. Like just recently I tried a hydration one that was so good. And I also really like their custom body scrubs that they make. And then you mix it with like coconut oil and it's amazing. But 
but this radiance face mask i guess it was the buttermilk in it or the yucca i'm not sure but like the consistency that it left on my face i didn't like it and i didn't really feel like it made that big of a difference i don't know why because the other ones do so maybe this one just i just think this one isn't my favorite honestly but if i do get another one of these i'm not gonna get buttermilk i think that's really what makes the consistency super weird like it dries down like i have like old wrinkled skin is really really weird now these next skincare items are a little pricey but they are worth it in my opinion so the first one is my glam glow super mud clearing treatment so i purchased this in the summertime and i finally got to the bottom of it let me show you guys how much i have left none not a one I make sure I use every drop of a product, especially if it's expensive. So this mask is something that I really can't live without. Like I'm kind of mad that they made this mask so good and now I feel like I just can't go without it because if I do, I feel like I'm missing out. And this mask works really well as an all over treatment if you need to get your skin decongested, if you have pimples and redness, but it also works spectacularly as a spot treatment it's a very very effective spot treatment i feel like it makes visible differences in the pimple that you're treating within the night so i will be repurchasing this when i don't know <laughs> but i will be repurchasing this i have a few other masks that i'm trying to use since i don't have this one in my stash i find that when i have stuff that i love i just use these and i don't use anything else and then the other stuff just piles up so i have about three to four masks that i haven't even touched because i was so obsessed with this one so once i go through those i'll probably repurchase this and my last empty is something that I'm not sure if I will repurchase, but I can't say that it doesn't work. And that is the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. So this is a Murad skincare product and it has like, I believe like chemical, not chemical, like clinical ingredients in it. Maybe it is chemical, but it has 2% of hydroquinone, hydroquinone, ooh hydroquinone skin lightener i don't know how to say that y'all i know a lot of words but i don't know that one so um i was really hesitant to pick this up because i know that we've all seen pictures and videos of people who like to lighten their skin like completely different shades lighter than they actually are and that's not what i wanted to do when i got this so i got this because a sephora consultant recommended it to me i went in there and i was just basically telling her what do you recommend for dark spots because i have no idea and so she recommended this and i believe it was like six $67.87 no it probably wasn't 87 it was probably like $67 and um I purchased it just to see if it worked and if it didn't I was gonna return it and it works pretty well so the only thing about this is I feel like it works to a certain extent like I don't know if it would ever fully clear things up and if it did it would, I feel like it would just take a very long time so when I use this I did notice a difference in my dark spots I felt like they were lightening I felt like my skin was brighter I felt like things were kind of like in balance and I was very very diligent in using this I used it every night it's a serum so you use it after toner and before your moisturizer and you're only supposed to use this at night because it does have chemicals in it that are supposed to light in your skin and it makes you sensitive to the sun so you have to make sure that you're wearing SPF in the daytime so something you want to keep in mind about this product if you're thinking about buying it is that it does have like a sticky texture when it dries down and that doesn't bother me because I just put on my oil or my moisturizer and it goes away but it may bother you and also it has kind of a weird smell I don't think I have a very sensitive sensitive nose because a lot of people were complaining and saying that this smelled like onions or something like something I don't even remember what they were saying but I was expecting it to be way more potent than it was garlic that's what they were saying they said it smelled like garlic and to me it just has like a slightly like accurate smell just slightly it just smells a little like hmm that smells like something and that's it like it's not that big a deal but I don't know to each their own so those were all of my empties thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you got some recommendations for products that you do or don't want to buy and i'll see you in my next one bye